Hello, third grade. Mr. Vatsak here. This is our last lesson for this year. <laughs> for music memory, I'd like you to review the one by Schubert. It's called The Trout Quintet, Movement 4 by Schubert. You can listen to that one again. All right. Now, for a focus activity, we're going to do something called rhythm blocks. You know, like blocks that you can stack on top of each other to create some kind of a structure. Same thing you can do with these rhythm blocks. There's nine of them. Number one is this. You just go one. You see? Clapping. I go one. I did it over and over again. It would be one, 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 one. The same kind of block. Here's two. One, two. Notice how I did it? My clapping hand, this clapping hand, is the same one I go over to hit my chest gently. So I go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I have these two, I can block them, I can put them together. I can do one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Here's three. One, two, three. Easy. Let's do that over and over again. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now you can do a one and then add a two and then add a three one after another. It would look like this. Ready, go. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. That's hard. You can pause and practice that. I'm going to go on to four. This is how you do four. One, two, three, four. You hit your lap for number four. Let's do it over and over again. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, stop. Now five is just yeah, the other arm, the other hand, okay? Here we go, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six, again, a little swipe on the side. It goes like this, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you do seven, the six becomes your back pocket, seven becomes your other back pocket. It looks like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you stand up, it's easier. So make sure you're standing now, okay? So that was seven. What's number eight going to be? Your foot stop on your right hand. Okay, all right, foot. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number nine is just your other foot, and you have all nine blocks, rhythm blocks. Let's do number nine. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could practice these on your own. The challenge is if you can do them all in a row. I do one to two to three like this. Ready, go. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good luck with that. All right. Next. We've been working on our piano keyboard, and this is what we learned so far, right? You know, there's white keys, black keys, we can learn the names of the C major scale, number two black keys. On the left-hand side, we have C. All the white keys, C, D, E, F, G. After G comes A, B, C, right? So we did that. Then we learned about sharps, like C sharp and D sharp. We have F. F sharp, you go to the very next key to your right. G sharp, A sharp, and there were these interesting ones like, is there such thing as E sharp? Yes, here's E. You go here, that white key is E sharp. Same thing with this B. Is there such thing as a B sharp? It's this white key right here. Now the opposite of a sharp is a flat. So if here's B, this is called B flat. A, this is called, you're right, A flat. G, this is called G flat. Here's E. This is called E flat. D, D 
flat, and there's some special ones like F flat is this white key, and C flat is this white key. Now sometimes they can be called both sharps or flats. It's the same key, like this one. It could be called an F sharp, or it could be called G flat, depending on what scale you're in. Right? Because in scales, we always use the next letter of the scale, so we'll find out. Now, the next thing we learned about is half steps, the distance between one key and the very next one. So from here to here is a half step. From this black key to this white key, a half step. Remember? Oh, these two white keys right here, E and F, they're half steps apart. Then we learned two half steps make a whole step. So C to D is a whole step, right? Because C to C sharp is a half step, C sharp to D is a half step, so two half steps make a whole step. And then we did, we analyzed our whole C major scale. You tell me if it's a whole step or half step. C to D, that's a whole step. D to E, that's a whole step. You were singing, whole step, E to F, there's our first half step. F to G, whole step. G to A, whole step. A to B, whole step. B to C, half step. So they're all whole steps except a half step between E and F and B and C. Same thing with solfege. If you do a solfege, the half steps are always between Mi and Fa and T and O. If you do it with numbers, the half steps between 3 and 4 and 7 and 8. You have to memorize that and know that. All right. Now, we've been working with our pentatone scales. We had all kinds, right? It's the same five notes. Penta means five. Tone means there's a skip. Our first one we learned was our tonic was Do. Do, Re, Mi, skipping. So, La. So when I'm skipping, Mi to Fa is that half step. I'm skipping the half step. Do, Re, Mi, So, La, like the mockingbird. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. See how it ended on Do? At the end, it's the same thing twice, right? Do is our tonic, our resting place. Now after that, our new pentatone was a different tonic, and we rested on La, right? So here's a La. La, we start to right away with a skip La, Do, Re, Mi, was La, La, by Little Papoose. Mother is near you, nothing can harm you. Lullaby, little papoose. Lullaby, little papoose. Now after that, do you remember the next one? The next one was... Um, our tonic was so. So... Remember grinding corn? It went grinding corn, grinding corn. Indian maidens grinding corn. God of rain and sun and sky. Send the gentle butterfly. So tonic. We also had the riddle song. I gave my love a cherry that has no stone. I gave my love a chicken that has no bone. I gave my love a story that has no end. I gave my love a baby with no crying. First verse. Now after that, last time we had our new one. It was the Ray pentatone. Ray mi so la so mi re do re. I think this one was called Little Betty Ann. Lu, lu, my little Betty Ann. Lu, lu, I say. Lu, lu, my little Betty Ann. I'm going away 
to stay and sun ray. We have one left, right? Because we did do, we did so, we did la. We have me pentatone. Our last one for this school year. Me pentatone. Let me pick this as my me. Me so go, me so la do re mi. The song I'll be using is called Silver Moon Boat. Silver Moon Boat is a folk song from China. And if you notice here, here's my scale, but it only really has four sounds, so it's not a true pentatone, it's a tetratone. Tetra means four sounds. Mi, so, la, do, and it's on me. So look at time signature, four ta, four beats in a measure. Mm -hmm. So beat, 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 that's four, bar line, one, two, three, four. If you look at the rhythms, they're all just going to be tadis and tas, and one beat of res. So that's easy. So you look at that, and look at the words. Look at the words in rhythm. It goes, little silver moon rides the sky like a boat. Past the twinkling stars, it will float lightly float. Sail little moon boat to the west. Sail little moon boat while I rest. So that is the rhythm is easy. So here's the melody. And it's really only two phrases that you learn. Here's the first phrase. So it goes like this, the first one. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. So if I sing that on my, right here, here it goes. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. You know half the song. Let's do it again. Ready, go. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. Again. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. So that happens twice. Then comes the next one. So here we are. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. Mi so la do so, so la so, do la so. The next part goes like this. So la do la so, mi so la. So la do la so, me, 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 and it ends on me. So here's the whole song with Soulfish. Mm -hmm. Me ready go, me so la do so, so la so, do la so. Repeats. Me so la do so, so la so, do la so. Stay right here. So la do la so mi so la so la do la so mi mi mi. Now with words, it goes like this: Little silver moon rides the sky like a boat. Past the twinkling stars, it will float, lightly float. Sail little moon boat to the west. Sail little moon boat while I rest. And what a moon boat is, is a crescent moon. It looks like a little boat floating in the sky. All right, we're going to end with a echo song that you know called See You Later. I've been this many times. See you later. Have a nice summer. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. See you later, mashed potato. See you soon, 
macaroon Say goodbye Pumpkin pie To the loo Kangaroo Catch you later Operator Adios Cinnamon toast See ya later. Alright, see ya. See you in the fall. Goodbye.